Hello there, YouTube. Here is a Samsung HD TV of July 2007. Let's take a look around the device. Right there, we got Samsung and a little blue, a blue light that comes up here. That comes up only when the device turns on, which you'll mention that in a little bit. And we got our Energy Star. Then this little screw, then the power button, and then a red light, and that ch channel button, and the volume up and down, and the menu, and the source. And then, on here we got a little ding, that, that's for enough ding right there. And then on the other side, that's for enough ding either. It's just, it's just a decor little decoration. Same thing, it has the same thing on the other side maybe, though. There's a little ding at the top, I think. See, that's the same thing on both sides. And then, here we got our Audio VIN 2, I think, in the video. I think there's only like a headset plug in here. Then our audio stuff in down here, all, all the wires. That, if you unplug it, you're going to lose all your TV shows and your channels and whatever. And, this must be plugged into a cable outlet because you can have channels to watch. Right there, up there, we got our connection. Same thing with that Samsung LCD TV. Um, this, this, they do not remove it, or the, it might include mercury inside of it, or same, maybe the same thing with that other one, maybe. But maybe the other one doesn't have mercury, like this one, because this one is in, a little bit newer, but they don't sell this one anymore, just an old one. Yeah, it's just caction there, and it says do not remove it again. Yeah. Too dangerous to remove in here. We got our screws. And then down there we got our labeling of um July 2007 right there. See that? Maybe hard on you to see because it's really small. Here we got the lamp inside this program may contain mercury must be recycled, disposed of according to the local state or for your laws. For details, then this device comes with Part 50 and the FCC rules, and see all the labeling thing right there. There's a lot of that stuff that the wires that can't be unplugged unless you really want to. And a little big stand here, and a little solid place there. And inside, you can see all the holes inside there. Which that's what you mean that you can't remove it, so you won't see that. Because you can see maybe the screws in there, and the thing will light up. So this might include mercury, so um, a little solid place right there, so, and there's even stuff on the top right there. So let's go ahead and boot this device up. The only thing you know, this is not the first time it ever been turned on, it's been like the... Maybe the 100,000 time been turned on. So, down there you got your little blue light that shines, that shines and never, that won't go away unless if you turn the device off, it will get smaller. So, if you turn this off, you see, it gets smaller and smaller and it turns off. Then when you part back on, it comes back. And it gets bigger, of course. Then you can also go to the... The channel which is right here you can change your channel by pressing up and sometimes it might say it's not available and even the same thing when you push it down it will say it might not be available all the time maybe it's not available all the time and you also can change your volume there's a volume you can change your volume by um, um Powering it up, and it tells you the volume down up there, and you can power it, lower it down, and then it goes down, and when you push it back up, it goes up. You see that arrow, and it tells you the number that goes up when you push the plus, and then when the minus, it will go down, and the arrow will go down, and this will go down. I mean, the number won't disappear, it will just say a different number. Uh, you can also do the, um, you can also go to your menu. Here you got the menu, which it has better graphics on here than the other TV. You got your TV picture, your sound, such as your channel, which is that's not available, available setup, and your input. So here's your picture. So 
we'll try to use this. So how to scroll down is you have to press the this channel button right here, and if it, and if it's not available in the middle, something will just skip to the next one that the the next one that's available. There, see how it will skip? You will see, watch. See how this will skip? I'll scroll it back up for one moment. Watch, it will skip. See how it skips the channel because it's not available? You can't use it right now because it's black and you can't use it. The graphics is a bit better though, but it's just, it's an old one, but the graphics is much better. You can also go to your picture. I mean, yeah, picture. And then you can go to your mode. Then you can do Dynamic, Standard, or a movie. And that's Standard, that's Dynamic, and that's Movie. So. Oh, you can also go to the contrast. That means you can scroll it like how bad the contrast or how good I think. And the this is the brightness forty nine percent. The sharpness is seventy. Then you can see how sharp it is. The color is like fifty. The tint is like G fifty. Then R fifty. Then the black light you can change that and stuff. And you can also go for, to more by scrolling by scrolling down with your channel button right here. I mean, yeah, your channel. And you go wait for more. You got your more. You got your, I mean, you got your tone, detailed settings, your side, digit, and R. It will tell you something down here. Then, here's the same feature. If these things are black, they'll skip. Watch out. Use the channel button. See? See how it skips all the way to the reset? It also says a label down here. Adjust the detailed picture settings to suit suit your personal preference. Preference, I think. And you can go to more. And that's the same thing. It was just one back. You can also go to the sound, I think. So you can go to your sound. Is the menu, and then go to the sound. And it will go away because that's the that's the same exact thing. You can lower it up, lower it down, and then it go it just you can go to the uh, you can scroll down all the way to the uh, let's go for the uh, in that's the input, so that's probably the same thing. Now here's the setup. So you got your plug and play. You got a language is English. If there's a lot of other language, you got your time. So you could scroll down with that. The source list is here. Set up here. Let's get to the setup first. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't. It just. It's an older device, so it won't work as well as the newer ones. Maybe the newer Samsung TVs, because there's a lot of Samsung TVs I have in my house, and my in my other houses I might review later on when I have time to get to review them. Um, go to the input. So let's just go for the input, or maybe that's the same exact thing we saw. So that does. Okay, went back to picture. Then it looks like your source list, HDMI 2. You can edit your name, likes list, any net. And then you can get this out by um going to the menu, I think. And then there, you could also go to this. There's a source button, so when you press the source, this is what happens. It shows this, this screen, like that same thing. It's, this one says Air 9, the other one said Air 3. So how to get out of that, and it says searching for signals. And the little eye. And how to get that out of here is you just press the channel. Or that's air eight. And when you press it down, it will go to all the way to air three. And that's air nine. Then you can go back to the menu. You can go to the menu here. And you can go to the It won't actually if you power this off and you power it back on maybe.
I don't maybe yeah it won't really go back to that normal channel screen which is we have a mo control here there is a mo control the mo control maybe it might help so you can see yes, it's weak or no signal then there you got your volume while you can control by mo control too. This might be the black version, there might be a white version, maybe if there is. There. This really goes around and stuff, it won't go away. You know how to get your menu away, it's just... Maybe... This TV might be very hard to use again, like that old one, but the older one is even harder. Oh, uh, let's try to source. That says AV1 game mode, so you can see the mode control and searching for the signal. Then we'll press source again, maybe. And then it says weak. This is game mode on, t on the TV. Maybe that other TV has game mode too, but I just didn't mention it there, so let's press source. Then this has component too, and it's searching for the signal. It will say weak or no signal. Let's press source again. Then this is the PC, searching for signals. And then, I also got source again. And that's pretty much all the end of the sources, maybe. This TV is a hard, even harder to use, maybe, than a little, a little bit harder because the, this TV contains. It has bigger, it has HDMI 1, I think, and it's searching for the signal. And that's not available if you press the um, channel. Yeah, it's weak for no signal right now. It's not, it's not gonna go back to that screen. But... Yeah, this TV might be a little bit harder because it's a bit newer and it has more features, but it doesn't, it's, it's an old TV again. Um, the back is smooth. Like, this one has a bumpy surface. I mean, it's smooth, but when you do this, it makes some squeaks. But, yeah, that, it, every time it does that, it will blink. Then this will move. And this, see how it blinks? See how this cable, this, this actually does have a cable out of plugged in, but the other one did not. So here's the plug, it goes all the way. This plug goes like a, a like a, a wiggly snail, or like a snake, all the way to that. It's its finity thing, and if you unplug it, you lose all your TV shows, and you have to, it will be, do a reset. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to comment, write, and subscribe.